He does get quite flinchy if you go to grab him quickly, which I noticed He's, when we was yeah. doing the. Uh, place command with him yeah and I think it's more of a case of even when he's being told off he managed to even turn that into a game so he doesn't actually understand discipline in a healthy effective manner and everything is a game to him yeah and of course once you've got the lead on then you prevent him from playing his game so then he's like all right then that's right yeah what do you want so okay let's go through the door and see what storms like and you say he's all right with dogs, apart from that one altercation he had when he yeah, panicked. Yeah, that, that was a strange one. We were just walking through Norsey Woods and I think, um, was the other dog on a lead? I can't remember if the other dog was on a lead or not. But they just, basically just came around a blind bit of, in the woods. And, uh, Two seconds, just going to get a dog out. Uh, get out, Logan! Storm Logan, Logan Storm. We're gonna go that way, we're gonna walk around this little grassy yep. area, all right? Okay. So, off you go. So, he's gonna have no idea that Logan's with us. Okay. So, Logan is with my assistant, he's just gonna look like an everyday dog passing by. Yeah. Storm's clever, but he's not that clever. He doesn't know that <laughs> Nicky's my assistant, doesn't know that <laughs> <laughs> Logan's one of the dogs with us. Hey, you're the wheat here, Storm. No, not now. I mean, he did pick up the place command relatively fast. Yeah. Uh, and you saw what it was like afterwards, how he was looking for direction. We That's just right. need to transfer that into different areas as well now. So we need to teach him how to behave when he sees a lead. We need to teach him how to behave when he's out on a walk. Yeah. So he's starting to pull yeah. a bit aside, just stop him. All right, turn around and go back towards your house. Stomp. Here comes Logan. Stomp. Storm, it's a, it's a bigger version of you. Stomp. Nick, you go that way, mate. Sure. Sure. <laughs> <Help>. <laughs> he does look like a playful dude. Well, no, right, turn around, Nick, and just take Logan back. So what do you do in this sense? Normally I'll, I'll just carry on walking and talk. Alright, we'll do like that. But 10, 10 paces, he's, he's, he's yeah, you go and put Logan back, Nick. Oh, it's like looking in the mirror, that's why. <laughs> Storm, Logan. Storm, Logan. Hey bud, how you doing? And there's Storm. Right, what we're going to do, I'm going to go and get you a better lead that's going to give you more control out of the van. Yeah. Okay, I want you to put Storm back inside. Yeah. Leave his lead a clip to his collar for now. Yeah. Okay, so we can prevent him from doing what he wants and that's running around turning everything right. into a game. So just put him back on, just attach his lead to his collar, take his harness off, sit down, do what you normally do and I'll be back in a couple of minutes, all right? Okay. I'll leave, I'll leave the key in front door. You can be practicing place while we're here. Look, take all my treats. Okay. Take all of those and just practice that. Yeah, cheers. Until I come back. See you in a sec. We've got to do this. Yeah. It's already yeah. recording. Just right. got to point yeah. at what's going on. So, pick a side. Any side you want to walk him on left or right. It's entirely up to you. Okay, well I normally hold in my right hand. Your right hand. Yeah. Okay, so we're walking on your right. So the slip lead goes over his head, yeah. all the way at the top. Class comes all the way down, keeps in position. The harness you had on him yeah. doesn't do him any favours whatsoever. The harness encourages him to pull because yeah. he can pull with maximum comfort. So he can pull and pull and pull and the whole conversation you're having with him is just pull more. Right. It's constantly a tense lead. I want to teach him how to walk on a relaxed lead. No. Yeah. No. Good. No. Good. So just no. Yeah. yeah. Simple. So when he starts put, trying to bite my lead, I just apply a little bit of pressure. But as soon as he stops doing it, I relax the pressure. All dogs understand about pressure. So we're going right. to teach him if he starts to pull, we apply pressure. As soon as he stops pulling, we relax the pressure. Yeah. So it's up to him how long the pressure stays on for. 
So the next thing you want to do is go towards the door. Oh yeah. So, bring him around, <coughs> pop him into a sit. No more turning things into a game. So, door open, doesn't mean he can run out. So look, short lead. If he goes to move forward now, yeah. all I do is tell him, no, shut the door. What I'm looking for is some acknowledgement that I exist. Right. Okay, so door open doesn't mean you can go out. I'm looking for a bit of eye contact from him so he knows that it's me, and then I'll simply give him the command I want, which means we can go. So this sense it's gonna be, <coughs> looking at me lead, sniffing me lead. If I move forward now, I let him know that staring at the outside world is what gets you what you want. But look, there's nothing holding him back. Eye contact, let's go. So he has to wait yeah. for permission. So the next thing we do is we start walking. If he starts to shake it off, if he starts to go in front, I pull up and I relax. Up and relax. Up and relax. So I can walk now without having my back pulled out. Yeah. But I'm giving him direction. No, good boy. See that? Yeah. Despite my lead, I can tell him no. And now he can't, yeah. And now he can't. But what he'll learn is walking with me is comfortable. Right. Trying to do what Storm wants to do becomes uncomfortable. But I'm not being rough with him, I'm not yanking uh, yeah. him, I'm simply just teaching him what I want. So if he goes in front, a little bit of tension, then relax. Tension, then relax. So I'm constantly communicating. Yeah. So it's got nothing to do with strength, it's got nothing to do with size. So here comes Sammy. Uh huh. So we're gonna see how he feels about Sammy. I mean, we met Logan, he was up on his back legs. So you just stay there a second. Yeah. Right. So, we can take it one step closer to drop our lead. Stop. Down. Down. So, look, just go semi two. to walk nicely fast. Doesn't matter that there's a dog there. Just lose your lead around, it seems to be getting caught a little bit. There we go. So again, walk fast Sammy. No. Yeah. Lunches, I stop. Carry on. What I want to teach you is just because there's a dog there, remain under control. You can see the dog in a second. Yeah. It's not about not letting him meet a dog, it's about having the option. Just as there's a dog there, don't drag me over to it. Don't get amped up, because meeting a dog like that is gonna get you in trouble. So he's looking at me for direction. What do you want from me? What do you want from me? Well, right now, I just want you to sit there. 
dog there, I don't want you up on your back legs, I don't want you behaving like a lunatic. I want you to sit there nicely. Take the time for him to calm down.